Right. Yeah. I think Ryan reckons he's on. What do you got? Is a heavy. You sure? Oh, yeah, I can see him. I can see him swimming off. Be careful. These rocks are slippery. There he is. There he is. He's down at the bottom there. Oh, I'll grab the line for you. Watch his oh, real keep real. Alex, can you? I don't want to snap the line or the rod. There he is. Look at. Oh, Alex, watch out. Oh. Was that heavy? Yes. Big boy, is he? Watch the barb. Yeah, watch. <laughs> That's perfect. They can get some flaps off him. Why don't we throw him up? Alright, so we just killed him and we also cut his barb off, so now he's harmless. Yeah. We'll go wash him down at the, at the boat ramp here, clean him off. We'll probably fill him so back home. Yeah, fry him up on the camp kitchen. That's just the burly we made in one of the little how-to videos. You can see all the little stripey down there. It works, doesn't it? Yeah, all the little bait fish and stuff running after it. Definitely help us get the ray. Um, the burly. Yeah, so the burly, it also got us a little banjo. We were, we were gonna take it, but there was some guy telling us they were an endangered species and we couldn't take it, so we weren't too sure. But We've at reached. the exact same time, we got this little guy, so I thought we'll take the ray over the banjo. Yeah, we researched her. I think you can take the banjo, but... Wasn't it, didn't you say there was a bad limit of flight? Yeah, something like that, but... Um, that probably would have been a cooler catch and cook, but... I mean, I think I'd rather take this guy small. The banjo shark was too cool to kill, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've brought him back to camp, and yeah, we're gonna cut two fillets off him. We'll do the best we can. We've never really um, filleted up a stingray before, even ate one. I've never ate one of you. Never. Yeah, he's, I reckon he's perfect size for eating. There's plenty of these things out there. It's not like, you know what I mean? There's a limited supply. Just do your best. If you miss a bit of meat on him, you know what? Who cares? Do you reckon we'll skin him too? Cut there as well, Jeremy. Up to you. I don't know. There's a decent wave coming in. Yeah, but we're back at the same spot where we fill it up the Trevally, just down on these rocks here. It's a nice. skin the other side and as you can see Angus just cutting off the other side that side turned out pretty well 
little bit of skin here. I'll just probably throw that in the water. Just the pretty simple building these. Just go along, go along the side and you can do like a little bone on each side and just cut the side of that pretty much. There's not really much meat down here so I'd probably just make a cut there and cut around there and you've got yourself a nice little fillet in the middle. We've got a good size eating stingray which is good. Sorry if you can't really hear us, there's, as you can see, a bit of a beach behind us, so the waves. All right, so we've got one fillet ready. We've skinned it on both sides, and I mean, there's that a bit of meat for it for the small ray. It was, was his in there? Yeah, there's no skin waste on there. Yeah, put him in. We didn't even lose too much meat. I think we did a pretty decent job, honestly. Yeah, yeah let's get all the rubbish off him. Don't know much about filleting rays, do you? Yeah, me neither. I think we've done a pretty good job for our first time. A little bit dodgy cutting around the edges, that's just when we peeled oh, that, it off. Yeah, so. yeah he's meat and I'll watch out. Alright, let's go. Let's do the other side. So, one side down, one to go. So we're about to lob the, the carcass of the ray in. The barb left its arm. Um, he's still where we caught him, but yeah. Um, what do you reckon's gonna eat it? A wobbegon. Uh, around this area, we've actually swum with wobbegon. So, hopefully, they get a nice little feed from it. Anyway, as you can see, off he goes. There we are. All right. Well, thanks for your meat, bud. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Are you recording? That was definitely the hardest thing Filling I've ever had to fill it or anything. This fill a little bit smaller because. I don't know, a bit of waste there, but what do you do? It's very hard to fill it. There's a lot of things online saying that it's not worth the time. I guess we're going to find out whether it is or isn't. It took here. ages to get the skin off, but honestly, it is a two-man job. Um, It's very difficult. I think what we're going to do is we're going to... I don't think we have flour, so maybe egg and a bit of salt vinegar. vinegar chip, like we did with the flathead, same um, concept. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. see then. Hopefully it sizzles away. Just start yeah, dropping more. Dude, oh, we got that little flipper, don't we? Put them on the outside. Yeah, like that. Actually, it looks alright, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Put the crumbling back on. Bring plastic plates to close off. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, but lesson learned. I think we need flour for. We know we need flour. Flour is a requirement. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. We'll have to clean this up. Yeah, I'll do this. You reckon more? Alright, there we are. Alright, we're going to cut the wood, taste it out, and then we'll come back and clean the barbie up. It definitely looks different. It's got a different taste, it's a bit chewy. The flavour isn't too bad though. I'm gonna give it six and a half out of ten. Oh, that's not that bad. No, it has got a different taste than most people. It's very different. It's very different. It's a bit it is a bit chewy, isn't it? I reckon it's good. It's not too bad, is it? My piece that I got wasn't chewy. At all. Out of 10? What are you going to give it out of 10? Probably similar. 6.5 to 7. The yeah. Range. It's, it's, it's no flat or no travali that we pour in our race beers, but that's stingray. It's not Yeah, stingray. Beer. I wanted to try it. It's the first time. For what we have, we did alright with it. I agree.